most aesthetic looks that we see on Lemonade is when people cut out an image of themselves and have a white border around it. But did you know you can actually do this directly inside of Lemonade without needing a third party app? Let's take a look at how to do it. Once you are inside of your profile, you're going to go down to the little yellow plus sign at the bottom where you add in an image. Now pick any one of your images and from there you're going to take a look at your stickers tab. That is along the bottom toolbar and you're just going to click on stickers. Now you have the ability to customize it. So you're going to go ahead and click on the customize button and when you do, you're going to select the image that you want to cut out. Now, if you want a different background, you can pick a different first image, then use this as your sticker. If you want it on the same one, you're going to use the same image. From there at the bottom, you're going to see remove background and you're going to toggle that on. Now, it will take a minute for it to highlight the entire image, identify where you are, and cut it out. Bonus points, if you have more than one person in the image, if you have you and your pet in the image, it usually cuts that out as well. Now, from here, you have a little button directly under the image that says add border. So from there, you're going to go ahead and click it. It's going to outline it in white and you can see it's going to be a little bit choppy, but that's to be expected inside of an app like this. If you want it to be smoother, I would recommend using something like Photoshop, which we do have tutorials on how to use down in the uh, caption down below. From there, you're going to click the done button. And now you've got a sticker, which you can place anywhere on your image. So like I said, if you want a different background, start with a different background. If you want the same background, you can actually use that same image and you have the ability to then put yourself in multiple locations. You can even rotate it. So if you have the little arrow buttons at the bottom, you can go ahead and click that. It is going to make it bigger, smaller, or rotate it just by holding that one button down. And then you can create a really cool image that has multiple versions of you. If you want to create something like a bubble effect, just go into the stickers and repeat the process so you can cut yourself out and have multiple images of yourself in one graphic. Then you can move forward and create your graphic as normal. We have a full tutorial on how you can be using all of the editing tools inside of Lemon 8, and we have tutorials on how you can be creating these images outside of Lemon 8 and importing them in. Bonus, if you're looking for the old stickers that you've already created, you can actually access them by going into your stickers and clicking over from the top of the toolbar to that little clock. This is going to give you the past things you've done, which means you can add these in wherever you're going to need. If you have more questions on how to design specific aesthetics inside of Lemon 8, go ahead and drop those down below. Hello. I am here to teach you. I've been a professional photographer of over a decade and a professional graphic designer of over two decades. And I would love to get your questions answered. Follow along, hit that subscribe notification bell because we're dropping daily videos to help you navigate the world of social media so you can make more money online, but spend less time doing it. And we are continuing our series on Lemonade to help you level up because right now is the time to build your authority because not everyone is on it yet. It is not overcrowded, which means you can become the popular famous one right now while it's still in its infancy. Follow along for more, drop the questions, and we'll see you in the next episode.